Hello friends, in this video we will discuss multiple choice questions related to posterior palatal seal area. So, the posterior palatal seal anatomically is, now posterior palatal seal area is formed by post palatal seal and pterygomaxillary seal. The post palatal seal extends from one tu maxillary tuberosity to other and pterygomaxillary seal extends through pterygomaxillary notch continuing 3 to 4 mm anterolaterally approximating the mucogenival junction. The fovea palatini are indentations in the soft palate created by the collection of the ducts from mucus glands located near the midline. According to different authors, the position of the fovea palatini is anterior or posterior to vibrating lines. So it can be used as a guideline for the placement of PPS. So the answer is that the posterior palatal seal anatomically is pterygomaxillary notches and fovea palatini. Next is increased depth in posterior palatal seal area of denture causes. The increased depth of posterior palatal seal is mostly associated with a V-shaped palate. So V-shaped denture may be responsible for undue pressure on the lateral aspects of palatal wall and this will result in loosen and dislodged denture. So the increased depth in posterior palatal seal area causes unseating of denture base. The function of posterior palatal seal is the primary function of posterior palatal seal area is the retention of maxillary denture. So the answer is that the function of posterior palatal seal is to ensure a complete seal thus helping in retention of our denture. Next is distal palatal termination of the maxillary complete denture base is dictated by. So as we know that the posterior palatal seal is the area present between anterior and posterior vibrating line. The posterior vibrating line dictates the most distal extension of denture base. So for this question, the answer is vibrating line. Next is vibrating line is on D. Now the anterior vibrating line is an imaginary line, line at the junction between the immovable tissue over the hard palate and slightly movable tissue of the soft palate and it is always on the soft palatal tissue. So the answer is on the soft palate. Next is broad palatal seal indicates. The broad palatal seal is often associated with type A palatal form. Here the soft palate is horizontal as it extends posteriorly with minimal muscular activity. A considerable number of millimeters separate the anterior and posterior vibrating lines. This will allow for a wide posterior palatal seal. The type A post, uh, palatal forms are considered the most favorable configuration since more tissue surface can be covered. Thus, it results into a more retentive denture base. So, the answer is that Broad palatal seal indicates type A palatal form. Next is posterior palatal seal is recorded when the head is bent. During recording of posterior palatal seal, the patient's head should be bent 30 degree to the Frankfurt horizontal plane because it is the only position when the soft palate is at its maximum downward and forward functional position. So for this question, the answer is 30 degree. During recording of posterior palatal seal, face is tilted down 30 degrees to touch the sternum. As I already, already told you that it is done to activate the muscle of soft palate. Next is instructing the patient to say ah with short vigorous words will help in visualizing. So this is a method to record anterior vibrating line. Another method by which we can record anterior vibrating line is by doing valsalva manure. 
Next is Fovea palatini R. So as I already told you that Fovea palatini R present on soft tissue and these are indentations that are created by the collection of ducts from mucous gland. So the answer is that Fovea palatini R mucosal salivary glands. Fovea palatini are situated in Fovea palatini are always situated in soft palate. The correctly placed posterior palatal seal creates the rational for posterior palatal seal is to create partial vacuum beneath the maxillary denture, which is activated only when horizontal or lateral tipping forces are directed against the denture. So the answer is partial vacuum beneath the maxillary denture. Anterior vibrating line is located on. As I already told you that vibrating line is always located on the soft palatal tissue. Posterior palatal C is seen in soft palate. When posterior palatal seal is present on, it is always present on the movable soft palate. So if you like this video, then please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. And in the end, thank you for watching.